Hey what's up guys, it's Ozzy here. I just got home from free comic book day. This was such an awesome experience. This was actually the first time I've ever went to one. I know, surprise surprise, the comic book and superhero nerd does not go to free comic book day until this year. So let's go ahead and look at all this awesome free stuff I got. First thing I got here is a little superhero sticker. Then I also got a LOD pin. I think this means Legion of Doom. Leave a comment below if you guys know. Now on to the free issues I got. So the first one is Guardians of the Galaxy Annual. This I think came out when Guardians of the Galaxy 1 was first released. I got Avengers number 1. I'm not quite sure when these were released so this could be new, it could be old. I'm not 100% sure but this one looks pretty cool. I got Riverdale which is based off of the Riverdale TV show obviously and I love that show. Make sure you guys check it out because it's awesome. Monsters Unleashed number 2. This is about Miles and Captain Marvel from the looks of it against some monsters. Secret Empire, the free comic book day issue. I'm actually not 100% sure where this lands in the storyline, but uh, the cover looks pretty cool. The Inhumans number 1. I'm pretty sure this one's pretty old because there is a new Inhumans run going right now, so this one might be a few years old, but the cover looked pretty cool, so that's why I picked it up. Harley Quinn number one. This one was very, very cool. It says Halloween Comic Fest on the top there, so I'm guessing that's what it was made for. Uh, I got pretty excited. I thought it was the new 52 number one for Harley Quinn, but I guess not. But whatever. It'll look great in my collection. We also got a free coloring book, which is pretty cool. Color up some of your favorite heroes. I got Avengers and X-Men. I'm not entirely sure what this is from or what run it looks like it says six is or six is i'm not even sure how to pronounce that but i got this one i got a weekly issue of mine which is justice league number 20 doctor strange number one it's pretty funny i was actually gonna buy this one about two or three months ago but i chose not to and then i ended up getting it for free which is awesome this one I actually purchased, which was Secret Empire number one, and I have number zero. And uh, this is going, this looks like it's going to be a really awesome Marvel event, so uh, make sure you guys pick this up whenever you go. I got Wonder Woman number one. I actually have the Rebirth issue, and I didn't have the first issue here, so that's pretty cool that I got it. It is a free comic book day edition, as you can see on the top, though, so it might lose a little bit of value, but. Whatever, it'll look really good in my collection of Rebirth stuff. This one's pretty cool. This is Silver Sable and the Wild Pack, so it's the old kind of reflective material that actually comes off of the uh, page there, and it's got the old style, like, baggy and all that, and Spider-Man in the background there. This one's pretty cool. I probably won't open it, but it'll look great in my kind of retro stuff. I got Princess Leia number one, so a first issue. That's a really great find, I think. Uh, I'll probably read this one too just because I love Star Wars and the Princess Leia character. Superman number three. This one was pretty cool. I do like the cover, Superman bleeding and all that. Uh, the illustration's really awesome as well. I love that kind of style. So uh, yeah, this one was pretty cool. She-Hulk number one. This was actually on sale pretty recently so it was pretty awesome to get this one for free. X-Men number one, I'm not sure what this run is a part of or anything or if it or if it was even good, but it is a first issue, so that's very awesome. Justice League number 52, it says meet the new Man of Steel, so this might be a pretty collectible issue if this is the first appearance of Lex Luthor as Superman. I got this, leave a comment below if you guys know what this is because I literally have no idea but it says the story so far, it's got some random characters on there, I don't even know what company published this or anything but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty decent free stuff I guess and something to read on the toilet. The second last thing I got was another Archie related thing, so this is Afterlife with Archie, so I'm guessing this is going to be about monsters and how the Archie characters kind of deal with it. So on the back I think that's Betty and some zombies. And the final issue I got was Original Sin issue number 5. I don't really know anything about this story or anything, but uh, the cover does look pretty cool with Cap and the Winter Soldier and Black Panther on there. So yeah guys, that was my first ever free comic book day. I only went to one location and the line actually took me about an hour and a half just to get in the store. Which is pretty freaking ridiculous. I was expecting maybe like a 30-40 minute, but this is the biggest comic book store in my area. And I definitely thought wrong because there was a lot of people there. But it was definitely worth the wait to get all of these issues as you see to 
the right or left of me. I'm not sure how you guys will see it, but all of these for free. Well, pretty much all of them besides the two that I bought. But that's a crazy, crazy amount. Some of them were actually going for about $4 on a regular day. So that's really cool. Make sure you guys go to Free Comic Book Day. Obviously, if you're watching this, you probably already went or missed it. So make sure next year, first Saturday of May 2018, you guys go. You guys will get tons of stuff. And there's also more than one location that does it. So you can get even more free stuff. So thanks for watching this uh, Free Comic Book Day video, guys. If you guys want to see my comic book pickup, which will actually be uploaded on Wednesday, make sure you guys subscribe and I'll see you guys then.